Toronto's going to game seven of the cup final. Italy, Germany, soccer over here. All right, yeah, Gary Hale's taking us all the way. Johnny ti ha detto di chiudere la bocca, scemolino. Ma copri anche spaclavaccio. Save your energy, all right? This is ridiculous, Pa. The hockey fans got no respect. Oh, well, hold on a second. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Sittler. So, uh, huge comeback for Toronto now tied at three games apiece with Vancouver. Even Daryl Sittler, the man who chalked up 10 points in one game, might have had trouble scoring a night. I mean, that, that's right, but the, the real story is to my left here. Harry Hayho Bonter comes out of retirement, allows one goal and three wins. Uh, Hayho, I mean, how, how do you feel? Same as it ever was, Daryl. It's like I see through crosshairs, man. It's like I got a laser in my brain and I am honed in on the cup. Hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! Oh. This ain't happening again. You've reached Cakes Renegoli. If you need a goaltender, leave your details. And for 50 bucks, you'll have one there 30 minutes before the puck drops. If you're from my past, go away. I've reformed. The hard living and the breezy, lucrative jobs have been replaced by a code for living right. Damn fine espresso and my very first family. If you need a goalie, leave a message. You want revenge or money? Go for cash. Good morning. Good morning. We have a problem. Yes, we do. Both your teams won, and tonight's games conflict again. Why do they have to put both games on at the same time? I don't know, John, but they did. I do know this, though. Toronto is one win away from taking the cup, and Bontar is on a tear. Coppa Mediterraneo finale. I know. I know, Pa. Which is why I have a compromise. It may be Little Italy, but it's big Canada, and hockey fans spend a lot more money on beer than old eye ties, am I right? So, so, hear me out. We move the soccer down here, we make it all nice, bring down a couple of screens. Hockey stays upstairs. Some flowers, ashtrays. It's gotta be nice. And I want the good wine. Mm -hmm. oh, that goes without saying. Salut. Nice! Yeah. <laughs> Good cake. Nice! Okay. So bring your lucky charms. Game 7, 7 p.m. right here. Right. Luch, Joey, can you take a case of the good red downstairs? Help Johnny make the card room look nice. What the fuck do we know about looking nice? You know Game 7 about looking nice. For this, we know nice. Wait, cake. Cheers, people. Hey, kids, what's up? Cake, join us a second, would you? Yep. <clears throat> Ah, the religious artifact store is up for rent cake. And Councillor Firstman is the landlord. How come I don't know that? I need to keep a low profile with the real estate. These two say they want to rent it. For what? Don't know yet. Well, renting stores with nothing to put in it, bad idea, believe me. No, we've got ideas. They're just not developed fully. But we are, we're dependable tenants, right? Yeah. No one I'd recommend more than Short Bus and Goth Girl. They don't even got names I can put on the lease. Cake. Holy hell, shit cake. What's up, Hughes? Um, Harry Bontar just got here, and he wants a coffee. <laughs> As I live and breathe. What's with the MJ glove? Protects his glove hand. He's a whack jobs, whack job Franny. Super duper stitious. I think he's probably here for his game day espresso. Hmm. Don't touch him. Why don't you give him some room, guys? Mr. Hale, 
I'm Cake, and we're all very big fans of yours. Hey, old Mr. Cake. I take it you know about my game day espresso ritual. There is no eggs in espresso. What did she say? Nothing. Yeah, not a cafe in town don't know about your game day espresso ritual, Hale. Hey Would you like one of my coffees? Hey, or was there a fence around the zoo? Hey, oh, I suppose there'd have to be. I have dreams about you. Take a piss from my dink. Try again. Cam that way? Yeah. That is not bitter. Oh, uh, yeah. The boys brought Pa the wrong wine, so I don't want him pissed from his dink. Motherfucker said my coffee was bitter. Taste that. That is not bitter. Okay, hey, hey, hey. Don't be a freak. What's, uh, what's this with the curve? Do an auditorium style, Johnny. Just give me rolls. Joey, open the light over here. Luch, how do I open the light? Oh, he's got to tell you how to open the light. <sighs> You guys can't even get the line right. I asked for the good stuff here, Kate. Here's the good stuff, Joe. School's on. Hey, oh. oh, what have you done? You bumped the fucking hand. You touched the hand. You touched the fucking hand. It was an accident. I bumped the hand, Harry. It was me. You, you clumsy motherfucker! Hey, watch your mouth. And your coffee shit, too, buddy. One more curse out of you, and you won't get out of here at all. Now get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you touched the fucking hand! Who's screaming? What are you fucking around with the lights that you bump into this guy? I bumped into the guy, John. Who cares you bumped the guy? It was Bontar. Fuck off. Touched him? In the hand? This ain't good cake. This is bad almost. Forget cards with this guy in his stupid hand. It's the uh, Toronto goaltender, John. This is a problem? No. Why did you say it was you like that? Because he was being rude. The hand, the hand, you touched my fucking hand. You see? Hockey makes people crazy. Yeah, of course, look up. That's what we heard. We came running up the stairs. There was nobody else. Dude, what happened? Baltar just flew out of here, freaking his shit. Like his glove was on fire. This is not good, cake, not at all. Relax, guys, all right? He's a pro, and tonight's game seven of the cup. Hey, cake, why is Baltar getting on a streetcar, swearing a green streak, and cussing your name? That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Guy comes out of retirement for 1.5 mil. Buy a car. Hey, Cake. Cake, Councilor Firstman wants to talk about our flower shop. Cut flowers and potted exotics. Y you need refrigeration for that. A walk-in plus a humidity room for tropicals and orchid crafting. These, these are serious startup costs. You're vouching for these guys, right, Cake? Yep. Well, if you say so. Come on, Shorty. 
Well, I'm not gonna fly up. I just vouched for a flower shop. What do you know about flowers? Nothing. I mean, Shorty does. His uncle owns a nursery, but hey, fuck flowers. We are thinking sex shop. I'm thinking sex shop for sure. She's a city councilor, Cake. She's not going to lease to a sex shop. You figure? You still got those butt plugs you designed in 89? Dr. Disgusto, indeed, vintage. Mm -hmm. Stick a Vespa in the window adorned in retro strap-ons? Come on. Dildos lining the walls, people trying on cock rings, but the whole time you maintain that it's a flower shop? Mm -hmm. The flower shop. Huh. I just bumped into uh, Harry Hayo Bontar's glove hand downstairs in the bathroom. Say what? You, downstairs soccer. Hey, soccer, downstairs almost. It's all over town, Geek. Heard on Sports Corner, Bontar suffered a fan collision today on his coffee walk. And he's feeling kind of willy-nilly. Oh, this is so fucked, Cake. No disrespect, Cake. Goaltending is your business. This doesn't look good on any of us. R for relax, guys, okay? It's gonna be fine. Cake, people are saying it. Saying what, shit, Pants? What are you doing? Hey, tear that up. Tear it up! Cake's running, goalie. Hey, East End. No, I did not put the hex on Bontor. Why are you even saying that? I ain't saying it. I'm, I'm hearing it. No, but you did. You just said it. Well, so did you. It's been said. The point is, I can't have the association. I'm gonna use O'Malley until this thing blows over. Mike. Fine. Thanks for the support. I got another call. Cake's around the goalie. Fuck you, O'Malley. No, Cake, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. I'm considering you my worst enemy. I'm frankly torn. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not torn. What were you thinking, you fucking ninny? Go Vancouver! <laughs> Stars like Joe Bolton and Bill Molden out of the lineup. Toronto will be relying on rookie defenseman Doug Wilkinson and Doug All right, guys, focus, again, okay? Bonner, it's game seven, all right? All we need is focus. Let me hear you say it. Woo-hoo! Woo! What's up, Johnny? How's Italy doing? Mm, can't even watch. All I know is... I bumped this clown. I appreciate you stepping in, but um, I got to take it back. You know, I, uh, I think it's a little late, John. All right? And the truth is, I, I can handle six million people mad at me. I couldn't if they were pissed at you. Push comes to shove, I can leave, you can't. The hand guy, he, um, he does a good job. The hand guy does a great job. You know, it's an odd situation here. I mean, Harry Bonter, he won't get back into the net. I mean, physically, look, there's nothing wrong with the guy. He just laid down, and now he's pretending he's dead. Don't touch my hand! Touch my fucking hand! He touched my fucking hand! Get away from me! Well, I'm pretty tight, Harry Hale. Uh, there were rumors all day about an altercation with a barista in, in Little Italy. You know, I heard that, too. And I guess some guy actually touched his hand. I mean, what an idiot. Did Daryl Sittler just call me an idiot? Hey, vinto, eh? Viva l'Italia! At least the cup went to another Canadian team. Hey, Billy Duty, shut the fuck up. You happy for Italy's win, John? Well, we have good news. Sign a lease with uh, First Men for our flower shop next door. What do you guys know about flowers, anyway? Everything? How is it outside, almost? It's edgy. Like, nah. You all right? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. You need anything? Oxycodone, Demerol? 
Morphine. Horse drinks. This was so much easier when you were addicted to everything. Does this strike anyone as mildly ridiculous? Hey, children! I'm getting egged. Cake, stay here. Shit, there's a lot of people out there, Cake. And one homo. Lance, what the fuck are you doing here? I don't make a habit of helping out super fags. But guys are putting these up. It says dickhead and everything. Teach, how about it? This is crazy, eh? Yep. Buonasera. Si, si, fortaturi. I'll get to the chief of police, make sure there's no trouble. Hey, Cake, this one's for Hale. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing? Thank you very much, but killing guys is illegal. Lucky fucking day, pal. You gotta care what happens to the guy. You're the chief of police. You know, because of the serve and protect part. No, there is not a moron clause. Believe you me, I'd know about it. I'll do respect, Johnny. Cafe Primo's your livelihood. Maybe we should move Cake to the country for a while. I think he's right, John. Nobody runs you out of my home. We stay here and we protect our own. Oh, un pacchetto per cake. Delivery. Down on your knees and open the card. How about I just read the card there, Joe Pesci? How about you get down on your fucking knees almost? All right. It's from Vancouver. Or the whole city? Read it. It says, thanks, Cake. Your name's going on the cup. Love, Vancouver. Very thoughtful. Open the box. Open it. All right. Open the fucking box! I think they figured out my number. Get that fucking thing out of here! Get it out of here! Get the fucking thing out of here! I'm gonna eat you! Cake, you should see this. Now, Dara, what we're we're calling on Toronto fans to calm down and forgive here. Well, yeah, I know, I know, I call this Cake guy an idiot, but but really, we haven't won the cup since '77. Now, come on, I, I mean, I'm sorry, but uh, this guy really should have his butt kicked. He really should. Well, I'm sure the rest of Toronto... You the guy? Now let's go to yeah, the I'm the guy. More it is, Toronto had Bontar on suicide watch when he climbed out a bathroom window and went AWOL. But the streets are clear and we'll keep a car outside. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. I'll be back in a sec. Gotti. Dr. Disgusto, you promise me you'll come clean with the counselor? Yes. <sighs> Don't, Stu. I have to put a little distance between this thing and Cafe Primo. Where are you gonna go, Cake? I don't know. I'm big in Vancouver. God. <laughs> What is it, Pa? I never felt so piccolo. What? Why? I did this thing, huh? Bump this goalie. What? Cake said it was no big deal, but, but now, with the eggs and the attempted murder, it seems like a big deal to me. And I know Cake. He won't risk nobody. He'll just leave. Where is Manja Cake? Where are you going, Cake? Just talk to Gothi, okay? You're a good man, Shorts. Hey! Get back, you piece of shit! Dog him, Franny! You know, 
Look, now I'm... Franny, you're Cagney and Lacey. I'm out of milk. I'm going for some milk. Mm -hmm. Franny. I got it, Pa. She's got it. <sighs> you know, I'm just curious to see what people take with them when they run away. That's the first cup you ever threw at my head. That I snapped when you weren't looking. Remember we won that at the fair? Huh? No, I've had it since I was two. Mm. Of course. Your stupid ass code. Of course. It's a bad idea because I have to go. I just want to say goodbye. Just ignore it. Just come on, a little bit more. Goodbye, man. What a shit day. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. All of a sudden, smoke up from downstairs. <laughs> Wow. This doesn't look good. You think? Well, I will take offense to that. I'm gonna have to get some smoke so this red bitch come flying over the fence at me. Thank you very much. Holy shit, is everyone okay? Dr. Disgusto. What the fuck are these? Butt plugs. What are they for? Plugging butts. And why the fuck has this thing got Cake's face all over it? Not now, Looch. It's gonna be okay, everybody. It's gonna be okay.